It was getting late by the time my friend Maya decided to leave that night. We spent most evenings laughing about small things, talking about boys, and having the occasional girl talk. She had been my best friend since I was 10 years old. However, we never reached that level in our friendship where we talked about ghosts or what scared us in life, mostly because Maya was more of a skeptic. She was one of those kinds of people that had to see it to believe it. I was different. It was around 2 a.m. when she finally left and I could feel the soreness forming in my eyes and the exhaustion sinking over me. For the last year, I had struggled with falling or staying asleep at night. It was getting to the point where I dreaded crawling into bed. All that ever happened when I went there was tossing and turning and, well, frustration. But on this particular night, the exhaustion was so overwhelming, I didn't care. The only thing I could think of was getting cozy and drifting off to sleep. I flicked my light switch, slid my pants off, and curled under my bed. Within the first few seconds of my head hitting the pillow, I was out. The first hour, I slept like a baby. Then, it happened. I remembered opening my eyes and seeing nothing but darkness. I originally thought I had woke up and the electricity had gone out, considering that happened a lot in my area and we were under a thunderstorm watch earlier in the day. My theory was backed up when I seen flashes of light coming through the curtains on my windows. However, the strange thing was, the light was not followed by thunder. I'd better look for a flashlight or a candle or something. This is going to be a long night, I thought to myself. I tried to push myself up, but couldn't move. I lifted and strained my body. I had to be imagining this, but it all... If I were dreaming, why were my eyes open? I tried turning my head, but it had the same effect. The only thing I could do was look around the room. Everything looked normal. Aside from the flashes of light peering through the sheer curtains on my wall, it was almost as if someone were taking a camera and snapping a photo over and over. I tried taking a deep breath and closing my eyes. Maybe when I reopened them, this feeling would disappear. I didn't find relief. Instead, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't catch my breath. It felt like a giant force, such as an elephant, were sitting on top of me. I felt the panic set in. My heart was pounding so hard, it sounded like it was going to burst out of my chest. It was all I could hear. I began feeling like my body was shaking, like the entire bed, room, house was shaking, almost like we were having an earthquake. My eyes slowly drifted across the room. Everything was dark, except for the left corner of the wall, where there happened to be a darker dark than the rest of the room. This darkness sort of shaped into a humanoid figure. I quickly closed my eyes. This can't be real. The pounding in my chest and the shaking of my body grew more intense. The figure started growing in size and I could feel chills forming on my spine. I gripped the sheets. In the moment, this was all I could do. I took a deep breath and swallowed. I slowly reopened my eyes to find the figure was gone. This had to be a bad nightmare, I thought to myself. I don't remember what happened after, but I'm assuming a few hours had passed since my encounter. The next thing I recall was lying down and being thrown into a whole other universe. 
All I could see when I opened my eyes was the window to my right, above me, radiating this pulsing, red, ominous light. It started off slow. I tried to move my legs, to get up, but had no luck. I tried screaming for help, but no sound came out. The only thing I could do was watch as this pulsating red light grew faster and stronger. My heartbeat sped up once again, and it was the only noise in the room. All of a sudden, the light stopped. I held my breath and closed my eyes, hoping when I looked again, it would all be over. It wasn't. I slowly let my breath ease out and looked again. The light was gone. My legs still felt as if they were glued to the bed and I couldn't move. I thought it had been over. I watched in horror as this light was replaced by the same dark figure I had seen moments earlier. It was almost as if the figure knew it was intimidating me. It began getting closer and closer to the window. My eyes grew wider, but just when it reached my window, it disappeared. I let out a sigh of relief, but couldn't help but feel as though it wasn't done yet. I looked over to my left. The same little figure that had been haunting me all night was standing right beside me. Only this time, it had a face. The face had no features other than the dark, hollow eyes. If I had to describe it, it almost resembled the character Slender Man. I shivered with fear. The figure was moving towards me and there was nothing I could do to stop it. With no effort at all, it jumped on me. And then, everything went black. The next thing I knew, I was waking up to see the night had, had finally came to an end. I still can't explain what was tormenting me that night. All I can say is I have not slept one week since then.